everybody. This is the Funkaholic. And the Funkaholic, too. How y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Me too. So, I didn't do a video yesterday that you got to see. We did one. And, um, well... You were smoking. Yeah. It was. And it was not ready for prime time. <laughs> Um, let's just say I had a little tiny bit of problem, little tiny bit, uh, with my brand new, still to be unappreciated more, <laughs> um, BAM Horror Box. And I just kind of told them off. I may do that again, actually. That wasn't the bad part. Was that the bad part? Mm-hmm. That was the bad part. So you're saying I shouldn't do that again? No. That's mainly was all it was. was hmm? That's mainly all it was. If I, and then raving on the band box. If I just do it a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Cat's got his claws in me. So, I have no pops to show you. I do have a green goblin. Green Goblin. <laughs> um, this came, I showed it on Saturday in the um, live chat where we had a lot of fun, gave a lot of stuff away, and uh, just had fun. And I had this to show. And um, then, uh, was it yesterday? No, they've seen those. I don't know if it was yesterday or day before yesterday. It was day before yesterday because I knew. I knew when I saw this box there was going to be an issue for me. And you all know I've had issues with BAM box in the past. Bill, I do have one thing I need to tell you. People have mentioned that they can't hear you when you talk. Okay. So, I mean, don't blow my ear out. But... <laughs> He's very um, mild-mannered and quiet, unless you fool around with me, and then he wants to kill people. <laughs> just, just call me Clark Kent. Clark Kent. I'd rather call you Superman. Clark Kent was a wimp. <laughs> he was mild-mannered until he turned into Superman. That's true. Okay, Callie Alley, you can sit there and be good. Now, this... Uh, Obviously, I opened it because I was, you know, you know, it was being, a video was being made. And I just spent, ah, oh God, I don't know, what, 20 minutes or so? Yeah. Rambling on and rambling on, and I just couldn't stop it. I wanted to. I, who wants to do that? Who wants to feel... Like, you have to, you know? But I have spent so much time and money on this box because every time it comes, like more and more and more, every time it comes, it's worse and worse and worse. Then, add insult to, inner, to um, injury. I am not yelling. Please note. I could. <laughs> I am not yelling because I'm trying to keep my voice even. Um, I'm trying to be a good girl. I'm not a really good girl. Am I? No. Nope. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, well, here's a question I, I have asked, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Oh, thank you. I just got a new subscriber. What a sweetie pie, too. See, that makes me happy. That makes me zen. That makes me chill. And then I look at this paper, and I just Please. want to scream. Now, I've been asking this question, oh, I don't know, three months now. Don't you catch my hair and make me throw you. 
Where is the black's black BAM box? Where? Where, oh, where is the BAM box gone? Where, oh, where can it be? Nobody knows. But here's the answer. We are in the process of updating and refreshing the look of BAM. Not only our website and social profiles, but also boxes and inserts. Will it always be this nice, BAM? Will it always be this nice? Next month, will it be an orange paper? Trying to explain why you're crap? I'm just wondering. Was, was that bad? Should I apologize? I didn't mean to call you crap. I had another word, but I'm pretty sure that my husband would pinch me and that would be no fun. Okay, let's continue. We have some really fun things in store for 2019 and this is what starts getting me mad. You've had nothing good for half of 2018. But you know what? I just kept, kept at it. It's going to be better. It's going to be better. And then you know what happened? Do you know, Bambox, what happened? You announced a Rocky Horror box. A Rocky Horror box. That's, they didn't say Rocky Horror Picture Show. They may have sent Rocky Horror show box. I don't know. I don't remember. My mind has blocked it out. The thing is, that's that was where it all fell apart for me. Because I was looking forward to anything from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Like a signed picture from from uh, the guy who played Riff Raff who actually wrote all the music and all the lyrics and all of the everything. Well, good riddance to you. So I'm going hunting. <laughs> I wish you'd find something. Um, where was I, Bambox? Oh, yes. So this thing here about you're going to take your game to the next level. I'm not sure how far up that level you're going to be able to crawl just to get... Let's just stay with one thing. The Rocky Horror Box. Nobody says the Rocky Horror. It's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Is it the Rocky Horror Show? That may have been what it was when it was in in a live theater. I don't remember. We used to drive by it all the time, and I remember thinking, I wonder what that is. So that Rocky Horror box came. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's Amber. I'm going to get in trouble. Okay, that's my daughter in Las Vegas. Anyway, Rocky, um, Bambox, it was that Rocky Horror show promise of a, a and it, it was supposed to be from what you had in your little flyer, it was supposed to be the theme of a box. You know, boxes have themes. This box doesn't, but that's okay. In order to have a theme, there has to be several items and not just, what? Oh, Amber, go get the phone. Go get the phone. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just going to have to tell her because she'll, she'll worry about me or yell at me. And I don't need either of those things. I love you, Amber. So anyway, that's what it, that's what happened. Um, I just was waiting for that box. And the box came. 
And I didn't even get the Spanish voicemail only a message and I will do my best to call you back. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. Amber? Hello. Hi, honey. I'm doing a video right this second. Your name is okay. kind of all over it. I'll give you a call when I'm done. Okay, okay. Love you, sweetie. Love you. Bye-bye. Mm, Bye. She is so sweet. Okay. So. Yeah, you know, I could have turned it off. And then just kept, but I, I'm, I'm in the groove. I'm right here. I'm in the zone. Thank you. <laughs> no one should be in a groove. <laughs> but in the 60s, no, no, no. So I was almost done opening the box. And I was like, isn't this supposed to be the Rocky Horror Picture Show or the Rocky Horror Show box? Well, yes, it was. There was not one thing in the box that made it the Rocky Horror box of any kind, of anything. You know what there was? There was a paper just like this. Oh, something's fallen. What is it? Oh yes, my one-up card. Anyway, you know, it had this in it and it said when autographs from Rocky Horror Picture Show. That is not a Rocky Horror Picture Show or any Rocky anything themed box. You lied. You misrepresented the theme of the box. I mean... And you know what? I still took this box because I thought, well, you know, they're gonna make up for it. They're gonna make up for it. Well, I, I think they're counting this as an item in the box. Now I don't know how many items they used to get. I have forgotten pretty much everything about the box, how it used to be. I don't think it had t-shirts in it. I, I really don't remember. But I remember being fairly happy with it. The one thing I did get, if I still have it here, yes, yes. I got a, a lovely pen. I do like this pen, seriously. And I got a one-up card. I got, I've gotten one of these... I think four out of the last five boxes, something like that. And my one up is that this is in black and white. This is first time uh, artist. Um, his name is Jason Brower. Now, I know a little bit about art, <laughs> and Pinhead is all wrong, because Pinhead looks surprised. Pinhead's never surprised about anything, because he pulls the strings, or the chains and stuff. I mean, I don't want to say things about, you know, I just, if I, if, if this would have come across my desk to get approval, I would have said no for, that's not right. And it would have been fixed and it would have been fine. Demons to some, angels to others. This is true. And it's signed by the, the artist, but I just want to say that and and there's other things but that's the main issue I have with that another thing is we get signed pictures from this box all the time 
And I'm going to tell you, it's never, um, it's never a, a main character or, you know, star. And that doesn't really matter because there's a lot to be said for um, co-stars and, and kids starting out. And that's fine with me. I'm not having a problem with that. But it would be nice every once in a while to get something that would be from, you know, talking about Pinhead, uh, Bradley, can't can't remember. <laughs> oh, you make me laugh. No, I can't remember his whole name. One of I think his last name is Bradley. But anyways, it would have been nice to have a signature from from him. He's he's probably going to cost more than that. But since we're paying. I think by the time this gets to me, I have paid $30 for it, maybe $35, um, you know, but anyways, this this is the kid from um, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3 and 4. I don't know how he lasted until 4, but boy, he did. He deserves to be in here. And then, of course, we have this. And we have this. Apparently there's a new serial killer in town and he is called Babyface. And we've got his rattle. Which doesn't. You going somewhere? Yeah, you better hold on to that because that's obviously another item. Now if I count what's in this box, every single thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in reality, I mean, come on, I was being facetious. Am I ever facetious? Two, three, four. There's four items in this in this box, which I paid by the time they shipped it to me. I can't remember if it's thirty or thirty-five dollars. I pay approximately the same amount for the loot fright case, which um, one of you I can't remember who won it, but it will be on its way. Uh, tomorrow and you will be able to see what I'm talking about. I mean you guys saw me open it, most of you, and it's fabulous. Of course it was their first one, they probably put their best foot forward, but I'm betting that they're going to try to keep that that forward momentum and that, that would be most appreciated. So I am canceling the loot crate at this point, they could loot put... Crate or bam? Excuse me. Bam. Excuse me. I've got Loot Crate because I know that's my one hope. And, of course, the... Um, I never can remember the damn case. Collector's case. The Collector's case, which is my favorite. Uh, quickly coming up behind the Collector's case is the Loot Crate... Fright Crate. Fright... Loot Fright is what they call it. Um, the Walking Dead. Oh, The Walking Dead. You only get every three months, but boy, that that was um, a great one. I had to pay ten dollars extra to get the Shiva Pop, and she's sitting at seventy dollars. Last time I looked, and I don't care if she were fifty cents. I love her. I think she Shiva is one of the best characters that they've ever had on The it Walking was. Dead. Well, she's still there if you watch reruns. Men, you don't know anything about entertainment. <laughs> but I love him. Oh, there's a pole. What? As long as there's a pole. 
saw it in the thing we were watching. Okay, I have no idea what he's talking about, and I, I'm just not going to go there. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I just, well, actually, it should be downloaded by now, and I will be putting it on the site. I did, um, I'm starting to show my collection, and I did my Harry Potter first, because I made a little, a little shrine to my favorite wizard in the world. Not that I know any other wizards, but, um, and I showed Harry, and, and I have, um, the two, you know, I, I just go crazy when it's Harry. I can't stand not to have him. Uh, I do have the Niffler in this one because I really want, if I can get the room, I really want to also have my Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them Pops also in this area. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But somehow, someway, somewhere, I will find my room <laughs> and I will put my Fantastic Frickin' Beasts in that room. Now, as I was saying, I am canceling my BAM box, and at this point, they could put, oh, I don't know, they could put anything or anybody in this box, and I would still cancel it, because it's all smoke and mirrors. I'm disappointed, BAM box. I'm disappointed in you. Why? You know, if if you're having problems, just tell us. I can understand that. Suspend the case. Yes, you've got people who have paid for a year or whatever. So you, you either extend their money back or you extend out their, their subscription. So you like stop their subscription and if you're two months down the road, then you start it back up again, but they don't lose those two months. I'm going month by month, but you automatic, you automatically um, take my money out. So really and truly, am, am I any different than somebody who buys a year? If I've been there more than a year, because I've been there more than a year, and I was very happy. And now I'm not, and I and I haven't heard anybody else say anything. Um, I guess people just don't want to make you mad, and I can understand that. If I get a call from your attorney, so be it. But just remember, slander is a lie. Truth is truth. You can't sue me for saying the truth. I know that to be true. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I love you all. Please remember, and if anybody is brand new here, yeah, I, I have soap boxes all over my house, and I get up on them, and I rant and rave sometimes. I did not rave this time. Yesterday was a whole different kettle of fish. But I'm not just saying this for me. I mean, if any of you are thinking about ordering the BAM box, that's completely up to you. But you need to know what they're sending and what they're promising and what they've been promising. So anyways, um, I have two drawings going on right now. One of them is probably a lick and a promise, but... <laughs> I'm when I get to a uh, thousand subscribers that's the 1k drawing I have um, a wonderful prize I will be taking you virtually not in person you will be at your house or wherever it is you'll be and we will drive to Everett Washington we live in Oregon we will drive you virtually 
people talk to you here and there along the way, like we're stopping to eating, you know, what else, whatever. And we will take you up to the headquarters store for Funko, the Funko headquarters store in Everett, Washington. And we will walk around, show you the whole store from the first room to your left, which is Harry Potter all around where you see Marvel and and the seven or eight foot tall Maleficent which I've kissed yes I have and then you go and there's just exclusive stuff in the middle and then you go on and you see DC and you end up if you keep going from room to room you actually end up in anime You'll have all that time to decide what you want to buy, and you will have $100 from us to spend. Um, it's not a huge amount of money, but it's going to cost a lot of money to get there. And we'll have to get a hotel um, on our way back. And of course, I want to buy some pops for me too, because I'm not going there and not getting me some pops. That's just not happening. Nope. <laughs> but um anyways and then we have the monthly drawing which this month is so far I'll, I'll have another drawing a surprise announced drawing when I get something I mean I'd give you something out of this case but you know I want to keep you as long as I can but um if uh uh uh, the the drawing this month, which will be drawn the first or second of next month, is for the Disney box, the Lilo and Stitch Disney box, which they now sell from Hot Topic. So you don't have to worry about it coming in the mail. You just go to Hot Topic, and you pick it up. It's thirty two fifty, uh, thirty two ninety, and I have one. I bought an extra one. Because they had, uh, I won't lie, they had a sale <laughs> while we were there. Buy one, get one free if you bought two Harry Potter items. <laughs> well, far be it from me not to buy a Harry Potter item, especially when there's a sale involved. So I, I got two of the boxes. And, of course, I was thinking of you guys. So, now I've gone on for 25 no, 28 minutes, most of it complaining about you-know-what. If anybody from Boundbox is watching this, I do not apologize, but I am... I'm not sorry for what I said, but I am sorry that the box has gone this way because horror is my favorite thing in the world, and I really feel let down and if I start seeing people opening boxes and they're they're up to snuff I will be back I I don't see that happening but if it does it does and I'll eat crow it's not like I haven't eaten it before anyways we're gonna go don't forget to watch my Harry Potter our Harry Potter collection video and let me know below which uh, fandom you'd like to see next. And I have Disney. I would kind of like to maybe chop up into one or two smaller bites so I don't choke myself to death on, you know, the, I, the whole thing. And uh, Mickey Mouse 90th. Um... Dorbs, Marvel, DC, uh, ah, Stranger Things. <laughs> I thought that my Harry Potter was probably the biggest collection I have, and then I was in there looking, and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> I've got more Stranger Things pops. Where did these come from? <laughs> And there's still a couple I want that have gone up really, really high. I, I had three I wanted, 
and uh, I was able, well, I had four I wanted. I was able to pick up two at fairly good prices, and now there's two, I think, two that I want. So, and I've been able to do pretty good with the newer uh, wave. Okay, everybody, you know I can talk your ear off, and I do that on Saturdays. We do, we do a live chat every Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sometimes I'm late. I was an hour late one time because we forgot. But we're kind of in the groove now. We're in the groove. What did you say we were? Zone. We're in the zone. I like the groove better. Sorry. I'm a child of the 60s. He's a child of the 50s. And you can be in your zone if you'd like. But I'm in my groove. Okay. I love you all. And we will talk to you when? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Everybody have a great evening. Bye. Bye-bye.